Hey there, beautiful people. It's Bridget here. And um, this is actually a redo from a video that I posted that didn't have very good audio on it. And it's about accepting your practice. One of the um, questions that I got from one of the tribe members was asking, how can I be okay with accepting my practice? And this goes for any kind of personal practice that we have a meditation practice, a drumming practice, a yoga practice, anything that you are trying to do on a regular basis. So the question was, how can I accept whatever form that my practice takes? And I gave this some thought and really came down right now at this point to two things. The first thing is, Whatever your practice is, whatever it is that you want to be doing on a regular basis or whatever way that you want to be doing it, allow that thing that you want to be doing to come up into your mind and see yourself, envision yourself doing it. What does it look like? What time of day are you doing it? For how long? Where are you sitting? How do you feel when you're doing it? Who's around, who's not around, and how do you feel when you're done doing it? Envisioning all of those things, or just envisioning yourself sitting and do, or standing and doing the thing. Either one. Some people really like to envision things uh, in, the, in, in their fullness. And for some people, just envisioning one piece, the actual doing, is what they're comfortable with doing. Either way. Pick something about that practice and see it. Envision it. Allow yourself to see it being completed. That's going to help to create a bridge between where you are now and where you want to be, which ultimately is in a practice of something, if this is your question. So seeing yourself in it helps to create a bridge between where you are now and where you want to be. And the second thing is to consider this question. Consider the question, what if I could only do this right? What if there were no way to do it wrong? What if I could only do this practice right? What then? And I appreciate and I want to acknowledge Christy Mabo, a teacher in Pennsylvania, who first brought this question to me. It's really been really helpful and helped me to change the paradigm for the way that I look at what I should be doing and what is right and wrong. So for your personal practice, two things to be doing. Or for accepting, if you want to accept your practice wherever it is, whether it's drumming, yoga, meditation. First, allow yourself to see yourself doing that practice. And second, ask yourself, what if I could only do this right? What if I could only do this right? When you ask questions, they evoke answers. They allow the answer to come to meet the question. So try those two things, envisioning and asking how can I do it right. And you may find that you have more acceptance for where your practice is. If you like this, please feel free to share it. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment box. Thanks so much and have a beautiful day.